In this episode, we will be covering the big question, what is programming? The dictionary defines it as a process of preparing an instructional program for a device, but what exactly does that mean? Essentially, it is attempting to get a computer to complete a specific task without making mistakes. Imagine this, for example. You want your less than intelligent friend to complete a Lego set. If your friend is not given very specific instructions on how to build the set, there are many mistakes you can make. If he thinks like a computer, then if there is even one piece, you have not told him specifically where to place and how to place it. He may just place it wherever he wants, or even suffer a complete mental breakdown, causing the whole goal of the project to be corrupted. However, it is not as simple as just giving your friend the instruction manual. You see, computers don't understand the same language that you do. Computers only understand machine code, which is a numerical language known as binary that is designed so that the computer can quickly read it and carry out its instructions. Essentially, the computer is fed a string of ones and zeros and interprets this as instructions to carry out a task. Going back to your less than intellectual friend, now not only is he stupid, but to make matters worse, he cannot understand English. In order to speak with him, you have to convert the instructions that you understand in English into the language that your friend understands. And this is essentially what you must do for your computer to understand the instructions that you want it to carry out. The thing about machine code, however, is that it is very difficult for people to understand. Directly translating what you want the computer to do into machine code is extremely difficult and would take a very long time to do if you knew how to do it. So how exactly do we translate our instructions into machine code? This is where programming languages come into play. Programming languages are fundamentally a middleman for translating a program into machine code. Programming languages are much easier for humans to learn and understand the machine code and are thus very useful for programmers. Going back to our Lego example, a programming language would sort of be like an interpreter that's able to take the instructions you give them and translate it into instructions that your non-English speaking friend can understand. This makes programming languages extremely useful and the backbone of any good program. There are many different programming languages that each have their own unique uses. Languages such as Python and Java act as general purpose languages that can perform a variety of computational tasks, while languages such as Robot C or HTML and CSS are more so designed for specific purposes, such as moving a robot or constructing a website. Languages can also vary in how powerful they are. For instance, JavaScript is a scripting language that is designed for smaller tasks, while Java or Python can carry out much more computationally taxing processes. Each programming language is measured by its similarity to machine code, the series of zeros and ones we talked about earlier. Low-level programming languages, such as assembly, are closer to binary than a high-level programming language, such as Java or Python. Aside from the different purpose that each language fulfills, choosing a programming language typically comes down to a matter of preference. Try different languages and decide which one's rules, syntax, and level of simplification you like best. Next episode, we will be going into more detail on how code is written and what tools us programmers use. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel and maybe check out the rest of the videos in the series in the playlist linked to the right. Thank you for watching.